Okay, we're ready to start turn number six of the Dungeons & Dragons board game, The Legend of Drizzt. This is adventure number one, and things have not gone super well for us, but uh, I guess it could have been worse. We have had some luck on the last turn. We leveled up, got a couple more hit points, and we got an extra surge token given to us. So yeah, I guess things could have been worse. All right, so the start of our hero phase, uh, we can move and then attack. We can attack and then move, or we can move twice. So I think what we'll do, in anticipation of perhaps killing this thing, we will move around to the back side of it, and we're going to use our at-will power, I think. Actually, we did get a new one last turn, attack one adjacent monster, then attack one adjacent monster. You know what, we might actually want to use that. Hmm. Because it gets a plus two, and even if we miss, it does a damage. Attack one adjacent monster, then attack one adjacent monster. I feel like, though, that would be better suited for another situation. You know what? We're going to use it. So we're going to use Twin Strike. We'll get a plus six on the attack. So let's see what happens. So Twin Strike, nine plus six is 15. And that takes out the Water Elemental. And so maybe it wasn't the best use of that ability, but you know what? Water Elemental is gone. And if I hadn't used this ability, I would have only done one damage to it. So Water Elemental is gone. So we'll place it over there. So we did not use our second... We did not... We only had one healing surge, but we gained another one. And we didn't use it. So we moved. Then we attacked. We killed. So we get a treasure card. So let's draw the treasure. These cards are so stuck together. And we got another flask of oil, so we now have two flasks of oil. Let me flip this over before I forget. I keep all the cards in a little bag uh, for all the different heroes, and I just, that was the only one left for Drist, and I just haven't, I forgot to take it out of the bag between turns, so that's why it's in that bag. Okay, so now we are on an unexplored edge, so we will draw a tile. And we got a crystal shard. Not that that matters for this adventure, but that's the name of the tile. It's a white tile, so we do not have a encounter. Let's go ahead and update our sheet. So yes, we did explore. We got a white tile. Um, we got a new monster. That water elemental's gone, so let me knock it off. And there will not be an encounter. So let's draw the monster. Please don't be another water elemental. Goblin Archer. Okay, so what does that one look like? The one with the... Must be this one. Yeah, it's this one. Alright, so we'll place this one onto the mushroom pile, which I... What is the mushroom pile? So that's the mushroom pile... That's the mushroom pile. Where is the mushroom pile on this one? I guess it must be this thing. Alright, so we got a goblin archer. So, gah. No blessings or conditions. No villains. And no encounter. So the goblin archer will activate. If it is adjacent, it's not. If the goblin archer is within two, it is. It attacks the closest hero with a barbed arrow. So it does not move it just attacks right from where it is and yeah even if it misses it hits arg so drizzt was here on the unexplored edge all right so the goblin archer attacks it gets a plus seven on that attack so it needs to roll nine or lower <laughs> of course yeah okay so it rolls a, a natural 20 but Luckily for us, there's no critical hits from monsters, so it just 
does the full damage of two. Yes, lucky. Lucky us. Okay, so that's going to be it for turn number six.